Damn, who is that hot ass bitch in the mirror? Oh wait, it's me. Damn Izumi, you've done it. Again. You have no business looking this good. Feast your eyes on the queen of everything. Ugh. I'm kinda bored though. I guess you can only admire yourself in the mirror for so long. There's like nothing to do though. I guess I could try turning on that old ass TV that hasn't been touched since the 18th century. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration. But seriously, this TV is old as fuck. Ugh. I know I put the remote somewhere, down here. Ugh. What's with all the fucking cobwebs? Ew, OMG. Is that a cockroach? Oh, here's the remote. Ouch. You stupid fucking TV shell. God, that hurt like a bitch. If this shit doesn't turn on after that, I swear to God. What the hell? This is Channel's Television's Breaking News. Oh. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lick My Ass Crack reporting to you, live from Walmart Academy High. Today, we're going to be covering the murder of former student Kawaii Pai. The corpse was first spotted on this rooftop by student counsel Yari TC just before school dismissal. The police were informed and have been investigating the crime scene for several hours now. Murder weapons were unable to be located and there wasn't any trace of DNA evidence that could be used to identify the culprit. We've interviewed a few students to get more insight on the victim herself. How does it feel knowing that you are the main witness to this crime? Well, when I first discovered the corpse of the fellow student council member, it was a mixture of fear, anger, and sadness that sort of took over me at that moment. Why did they have to kill her? I mean, they should have killed a shitty ass student instead. What idiot would kill a teacher's pet student council member? They should have fucking taken down Izumi Amano. Yeah, I can't say that I've ever heard of Kawaii Pai before. Is she hot? Um, sir. She's dead. Oh. That's honestly a shame. If she was alive, I bet I could make her fall in love with me. After all, I am a ladies' man. Well, I know that Kawaii Pai was one of those smart students. She was actually my partner for this chemistry project that's due this Friday. I was really happy when I found out she was my partner because I knew that she would end up doing all the work. But since she's dead, I guess I need to accept my faith that I'm going to fail this stupid project. God fucking dang it. I was really looking forward to getting that free A. Eh? I heard that you and the victim were very close. Is that true? Well, yes, we were very close. I know this is kind of cliche, but she was my childhood friend, my first friend, even. I just, I just can't help but feel guilty, you know? Knowing that I was the last one with her on that rooftop. I feel like if I stayed with her a little longer, this could have been prevented. I guess my biggest regret is just not being there for her when she needed me. That day, we were actually planning on hanging out after school together. But then, I heard the news. It all happened too quick. I'm just so beyond devastated. I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. <sighs> we are truly sorry for your loss, Makoto. Our prayers go out to you. Well, that is all the information we have for you regarding the sudden murder of Kawaii Pai. We hope that incriminating evidence is found soon so that justice can be served for this student. Also, please don't forget to follow my Yangram account at Likma Askrat. Here, you will be able to get more news updates and of course, pictures of me and my killer body. Again, this is Likma Askrat tuning out. What in the actual fuck did I just watch? First off, a student at our school was murdered. Then, Yari TC has the balls to talk shit about me on television. And to top it all off, a news reporter by the name of Likma Askrak is promoting her atrocious Yangram account on a news station. What the actual fuck is going on? What, 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 what the actual fuck is going on? Why out of everyone, Kawaii Pai gets murdered? What's so special about her? 
No, fucking way. It's gotta be that new kid. I mean, it's the only thing that makes the most logical sense, right? I mean, the only other person who I know for sure has the skill to kill someone and get away with it is a Yano. Well, and me of course. But wait, it can't be a Yano because she doesn't have a motive to kill her. I know for certain that Kawaii Pai wasn't trying to interfere with her and Taro. She had something going on with that Mac Hoto guy or whatever the fuck his name is. No, but this kinda makes sense though, that new kid is the only one that had tension with Kawaii Pai and not to mention her creepy ass behavior. So, if 2 plus 2 is 4, right? And 5 plus 5 is 10. That would mean that the new student is in fact a murderer. Or that could also mean that this is one big coincidence and I'm coming up with absurd conclusions because of sleep deprivation. Yeah, that must be it. What a good day to bury a bitch. Who does she think she is flirting with my son Poppy like that? I mean, she really thinks she can just ask him to borrow a pencil and get away with it just like that? Well, I'll have you know that nobody is allowed to. Who in the fuck? What the hell was that? I have so many questions right now. First of all, what in the fuck just happened to me? What was that glitch effect that I just saw? Or was that just a hallucination? Second of all, what the fuck is that redhead doing here this early? Nobody is here at this time except for me. Also, why is this my first time seeing this particular person? Are they new or something? I am so confused right now. I'm getting deja vu right now. No but seriously, my locker is literally a black hole. No matter how hard you look, you'll never find the shit you're looking for. <laughs> Who in the fuck slams their locker like that? Oh, it's that Mac Hoto guy. Damn, he looks miserable. He's definitely mourning over Kawaii Pai. Damn, he must have really liked her. For some odd reason. Like we get it, she died. Get over yourself. It's not like it's the end of the world, she isn't fucking gold. Imagine liking a Hanoka wannabe, kinda embarrassing for him. But to each their own, I guess. You know what? I really don't fucking get it. I don't get the way that this damn school operates. Why am I forced to come to school and teach these ugly ass ogres when there is clearly a murderer on the loose? I am not trying to get killed over a group of ugly ass rats. I mean, the bitch kinda has a point. Aside from the fact that she referred to me as an ogre and ugly rat. I'm still sus of that new student though. I need to find a way to get more information about her. It's not like I'm scared of her anyways. I am a boss girl. Dude, what the fuck? Watch where you're going. I am so sorry. Please, forgive me. I wasn't paying attention and... Oh, don't worry. It's okay. It's more than okay. Haha. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a pleasure meeting you. Likewise. Ugh, where the fuck is my sin poppy? I've been looking all... Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? God, he's so pretty. I want to know everything about to know him everything now. About 
Um, hey, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Sorry, I blanked out for a minute. What were you saying? Oh, that's fine. I was just asking if there was a way I could make it up to you, for you know, bumping into you. Well, if you insist, I'd love for us to hang out sometime. Hum, all right then, sounds like a plan. Could I get your name? It's Sumaria, and what about yourself? My name is Taro. Taro. Well then, Sumaria, I guess I'll see you later then. Oh, trust me, you will. Oh, trust so Sumaria is her name? Ayano Aishi, huh? Whoever she is. God, I really need some fresh air. I'm tired of inhaling the dust dot in this school. Holy fucking shit. You have got to be shitting me right now. What does one do in this situation? Do I script my way out of here? Or do I approach her and attempt to get more information? Eh. What the heck? I'm feeling bold, today? Let's talk to that bitch. Why am I getting nervous, all of a sudden? Uh, hey! Ugh, what do you want? I'm sensing a lot of passive aggression right now and I don't know what I did exactly to cause it. Simple, you disrupted my thought process. About what, exactly? Oh, I don't think you want to know. Haha! <laughs> I think you might be right about that. Hey then, I'm gonna go now because I don't really have any interest in engaging in a conversation with you. Also, your obnoxiously blue hair is kinda hurting my eyes, so yeah, peace out. I want her gone. I want her dead. This bitch deserves to die. We should hang out, Taro. Like, bitch, shut the fuck. Your obnoxiously blue hair is hurting my eyes. Like who in the fuck does? She thinks she is talking to me like that. Ugh. Ugh. That bitch is going to regret flirting with Taro. I will make sure she regrets talking shit about my hair. Fucking bitch. Piece of shit. With her, her tomato, tomato head, head looking, looking ass. ass. Ugh. Shit, I think I have a concussion after that one. Wait a fucking minute, Izumi. Ayano. You know what? Normally, I'd be extremely pissed off at your fat ass for bumping into me, but something else has already gotten me fired up. Well, you and me are in the same boat then. Wanna complain to each other about our problems? Shit, I thought you'd never ask. Basically, it's the new student. I fucking hate her. Wait, are you serious right now? Because my exact problem is with her too. No way, what did the bitch do to you? She literally said that my hair was hurting her eyes because of how obnoxiously blue it is. What about you? So get this, I caught her flirting with Taro and on top of that she asked him to hang out with her someday. Dude, what the fuck? I know right, that bitch has some serious nerve. She's also creepy as fuck. I noticed that too. Her whole vibe is just sketchy. We need to do something about this. I agree. I never thought I'd say this, but I think you and I should work together. I know we had our ups and downs and shit, but I think we would make a powerful duo. Unfortunately, I agree. Maybe we should just set our differences aside and work together on this. I say we discuss everything that we know about her so far and come up with a plan to take that hoe down. Oh my fucking god yes. But we need to go somewhere more private. I say we go to the fountain. Nobody ever goes there around this time. What are we waiting for then? Let's go. Seriously? Not again. Are you okay? Well damn. What is with me and bumping into hot boys today? Um, so? 
Oh right, sorry for bumping into you like that. It's cool. It was partially my fault too. So um, where are you headed off to? Well, I was just heading back in the school to look for someone. Oh, he seems to be busy. I'll just find out more information about him later. Remember to meet me back at the same exact spot tomorrow. Jeez, I know. You've said that like 100 times already? Well, I'm just making sure that your dumbass understands. That's all. Ugh, whatever. See you around a Yano. You too, I guess. Shit, man. I completely lost track of time. Haru is probably waiting for my ass right now. Haru, I'm so sorry. Oh hell no!